Good morning. We've come to a place called Mayhad Beach and we've set ourselves up. We have our phones out. What are you going to listen to or watch? Play Dots is Real Friends, my Scrubs podcast. And I'm going to watch a bunch of YouTube videos that I've downloaded and other than that, we're just going to enjoy the sun, maybe take a dip in the water and just spend some time relaxing. After two and a half hours at Mayhad Beach, we decided it was time to go to 7-Eleven because it saves us almost every single day. And we picked up a late lunch of banana, onigiri, and then we also have coffee and iced tea on the side. And now it is time to head to what we've heard is an amazing sunset spot. It's called Secret Mountain. And it's about a 15 minute ride from there. So let's go. another spectacular sunset that we've witnessed this year. I just feel so lucky to have been in all of these beautiful locations. And what I find incredible is that each sunset is unique. This one, I really noticed the different layers of color in the sky, like how right up above it's blue, and then it slowly turns to this more like golden yellow orange color and it fades into almost like a highlighter pink color it was just stunning yeah being able to see that kind of spectrum and having the right kind of weather to be able to see it all is just really amazing i think i love this island than you i think kofangan is fantastic i mean waterfalls beautiful beaches fantastic sunsets. I'm sure the sunrises are pretty good too, but not getting up for those unless we absolutely have to. Yeah, and everything's pretty accessible. There's great food and it's all pretty affordable too. What's lots of love? Absolutely. Good morning. As you can hear, Nick is not a happy camper right now. Our day has not started quite how we expected. We're standing on the side of the road because we tried to go to Cow Raw to do the hike. I believe it's to the highest point on this island. I know we've come to completely the wrong area. I think we may have now identified where the start of the trail is, but it's 30 minutes away from where we are. And so because they advise you not to do this hike in the middle of the day in the sun, I think what we're going to do now is go to the beach that we were intending on going to this afternoon since that's like five, maybe 10 minutes away. Hopefully we'll be able to find the start of the hiking trail later this afternoon and do that after the midday sun kind of thing. So right before the sun goes down. 
It's extremely confusing because on the article that we initially read, then it said that there was a guest house. Tried to find the guest house on Google Maps, it wasn't there, nothing came up. And so then you just type in Khao Ra and there's probably about five different places where you could go. The top one ends up bringing you here. Here is, for want of a better way of putting it, the middle of nowhere. There is no official trailhead. There's no markers that indicate that this is indeed here. But the images for it basically show that it's like the start of the national park like we went to when we were checking out waterfalls. So it's extremely misleading. Finding out now that it's not just like, oh, it's only a couple more minutes down the road, but it's actually an entire half hour when it's already been a stressful enough bike ride is um, not exactly putting me in the best spirits, but hopefully some time at the beach will remedy that. We've made it to Tong Nai Pan Beach, which I think is the most famous or biggest beach here on Koh Phan Dan. It was a little challenging to find somewhere to sit and lie down because it's a lot of resorts that line this beach and they don't just like rent lounge chairs to anybody. They're just reserved for their guests. But we found two restaurants on one of the ends of the beach and we ordered ourselves some iced lattes and made ourselves comfortable on these beanbag chairs and we have a front row view to the water so I think we're just going to spend some time relaxing here. come to our favorite place in Asia. We've got a bunch of onigiris between us and then some iced teas. I think we finally made it to the right place. Woohoo! We are now at the start of the hike. Entry costs 40 baht per person, so just under two bucks per person. Apparently it's going to take an hour and a half each way, so let's go cracking. We've been walking for 15 minutes and we are sweaty messes already. We are absolutely covered by dense rainforest. Tell me it's not just starting to rain. Anyway, it's beautiful because you're so shaded, but the ground is so uneven with all the rocks and tree roots that it's almost hard to look up and appreciate the beauty of what you're seeing. Yeah, you feel like you have to concentrate on every step, which just makes it that much more tiring as you go. But hopefully there'll be nice flat sections that we can enjoy and some kind of de facto breaks. But I guess we'll see. Please explain, how can it be in both directions? I think we're going to pick the sign on the right that says Cow Ra. So we're going to go the sway. It's taken us about half an hour to get halfway, which considering that they said an hour and a half to get to the top is not bad going so far. Let's just hope the second half isn't more challenging. Yeah, that felt challenging enough. Whoever said that this was a gentle hike was high or on something or just straight their face lying. <laughs>
I haven't filmed anything the last 700 meters of this climb just because I feel like I've been on my own personal journey to overcome this mentally. It's been a lot of heavy breathing. I'm sweating profusely, like my clothes are absolutely soaked and I'm wearing these linen shorts that feel like a diaper right now. My legs are shaky and every time I take a step up, I have to convince myself that I have enough power in my legs to do so and all that might sound a little bit dramatic and I'm loving every minute of this toughness, but yeah, I just wanted to acknowledge that it's a mental journey and a physical journey. And also I don't know how people in the army do like the ruck marches or runs because I have this like backpack on. It might weigh 10 or 15 pounds at the absolute most. And this whole hike is apparently only three kilometers. I mean, 90% of it is uphill but man, I'm dying. So I don't know how people in the army do this, but I think we're almost at the summit now. <sighs> oh my goodness. I can't believe we made it. You can really see this entire island. Oh my God. Look at this panoramic view. You can just see for days. Like it's crazy to see that the island is made up of so many mountains. And then you can see all the way into town down there and then the water beyond that. Holy crow. This is outrageous. Babe, we made it. Dub dubs. Dub dubs. Boom. You hate life right now. I do. This feels nice though. It's I eat. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> Let's cheers with some water. Yes, please. I think after all that. I can safely say this was probably one of the worst hikes of my life and one of the worst decisions we've ever made. But at least the view's nice, so that's, that's good. I feel like you're comparing it to Penang Hill and also Grouse Grind. Those are probably the three that they, you're thinking of. Yep, truly horrific and this one ranks up there. But you know what? All things considered, there's a big sense of accomplishment with this, so it can't be all bad. <laughs> Jokes aside though, honestly, this island is truly spectacular. It is time and time again given us reasons to absolutely love it. I mean, this place has pretty much everything that you could want, all the amenities you need, and some incredible nature on top of that to boot, so... Yeah. Honestly, this has been well worth the extra trip, and, uh, and yeah, just wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody who's recommended it, not least my brother and his partner. So thanks Johnny and Kate. Not sure that anything can quite top this in Thailand, but I would love to see the rest of Thailand try. You can't quite top it. <laughs> Cause we're <laughs> at the top. <laughs> can someone now teleport me down? But uh, Koh Phangan has something for everyone. I feel like it's kind of like Sri Lanka in that sense mm. where natural beauty just surrounds you. And there are hikes, there are waterfalls, there are beaches, really good food. So I feel like there's something to satisfy everyone here. Exactly. I think that's pretty much all we have to show you. So. And what a way to end it on top of the world. Absolutely. So while I take an extra breather to try and get some function back into my legs, and Rachel hopefully does the same, we'll pick this back up tomorrow when we move on to our next island. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.